I would say it came down to three teams at the end. And uh, well, who you got to show us who it was the Diamondbacks, the oh. Reds, and the okay. Cardinals. It's true. Yeah, let's go to him right now. It's true. I'm not making this up. We don't say this to everybody. There he is. He's right here. Yeah, flash. yeah, yeah. Johnny, do you know about this? Uh, he told me this morning, and I was like, wow, look at that. Look at us go. It's your good looks. That's what it is. And you're kind of like you're kind of like the next the, the boy next door. Like you're just a you're you're very you're not you're very slightly built. You have slight hips, <laughs> and you're just you're not intimidating. Well, I appreciate you. I'm pre- I I I think that's a I'm taking it as a compliment. So uh, okay, good, good, you good, mean good. It like that or not, like that's the way I'm taking it. So <laughs> all good there. In, intimidating in bullpen sessions though, no. Okay, I want to hear about the bullpen sesh. A little sixty the, feet, uh, six inches. Yeah, maybe that's the um, the short short guy syndrome or whatever. Like small small dog, big big bite or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's just that's what it just is. Carry that carry that little chip with you a little bit. You know. Okay, like so it. you threw today, right? I did. I threw today. The rain, the rain didn't mess you up, did it? Uh. Nah, it's, I mean, I felt a little tweak in my hamstring in my game two days ago. So I just thought, you know what, like, why not? Let's just go out there in the middle of the rain. It'd be a good day to test it. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you can do this today, then you should be okay. So, so I was like, let's just, let's just, that's just smart. Let's go, let's go do that. You didn't run though. You just threw, right? Yeah, we just played catch. I did a, a lot of stuff. It's, uh, it feels good. Better? Yeah, feel it feels good. Okay. It, I said it was never a, it was, it was a very precautionary thing that I um, I was just trying to do the right thing. It's one of those that you're like, ah, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do right now. And then as soon as you say something, it's like, hey, we're gonna just we're gonna stop right here. Okay. Which I get it. It's which is which was the right thing to do. Was it your first first spring start? Second, second, second. Yeah, yeah. Second. So we were in Nats camp. You pitched down in Nationals. Yes. So we had uh, Lane Thomas on. Okay. And I go, who are you facing today? And, and on MLB.com, it had Michaelis. But I'm like, yep. he's like, I think Sonny's pitching. So I gave him a scouting report. I'm like, you know, if he throws you a high heater, he's going to back it up with a curveball or the sweeper. I'm like, so once he goes high heater, dive out there. Yeah. Well, so got him out. So my scouting report sucked. I think the way that he took that was swing at the first pitch of the game. <laughs> uh, I didn't tell him that. I didn't tell him that part of it. I, I was trying to get him to build in it back. Yeah. Swing at the first pitch of the game, see what happens. It was good. You. When you when you pulled your hamstring uh, in twenty two, you did it twice, right? So I did it the second game of the season. A uh, similar feeling, very similar feeling of this, and then um, yeah, and then at the end of the season, um, I went back on the IL with it, with probably like two, maybe three weeks of the season left. Um, was it was it your right leg? Was it your right leg? Because yeah, I was thinking pitchers. I always think a pitcher is extending out, and that front leg, you pull the hamstring. So it's to me, it's weird, but I'm not as athletic as you are because you are absolutely the most freakish athlete pitcher that I've ever played with. But there's that. Yeah, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment as well. Um, that wasn't for a compliment. me. Like for me, <laughs> like in my in my movements, though, it's I'm more of a. If you see it, when I'm at my best, I'm more of a lift. And then I'm kind of a sit and I really get this this front hip and everything. I have this little like hip move thing that I do that's very, very important to me. So it's more of a it's more of a sit with my right leg a little bit. It's like a sit and then a drive and explode down. So that was kind of that was kind of where it was. It was like on the lift and then the sit and the drive. Uh, it's kind of where it was. So it wasn't a it wasn't a like overstretch thing or like you you like lunged out and you stretch. So it makes sense on the left leg as far as like a thing, but like, I'm not, I don't have a problem. I'm like being mobile. Like I'm, I'm pretty mobile. Like I'm hyper, like hyper flexible and all that. It, this was more of a sit drive uh, push off thing. And it just kind of like grabbed on me a little bit in the middle of it. So um, all in all, it's, it was, it's, it's not that big of a, of a thing. It is something that I have to stay on top of. And I've known that. And, that's the shit part is I feel like I've done a good job of staying on top of it, but sometimes just, you know, things pop up and you, you move forward and, uh, and 
That's all you can do sometimes. Hey, that's a Vanderbilt education right there, by the way. You know? He's talking about hip popping and driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, if he would have went to Dr. Phillips like me and his manager, though, we would have we would have never let this stuff happen because we're way ahead of Vanderbilt. Don't even know what that move <laughs> is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't nobody nobody goes to Dr. Pepper High School. Like yeah. just just let them know. <laughs> Twenty three flavors. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Sonny, he last, tells you last South, he that. knows that. <laughs> He's still. Do, do, is you, there a chance, though, that you, could wipe, that you could pitch opening day still? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm um, okay. doing everything I can to, to put myself in a position to, to be available, but it's, um, I, I, I just don't know. I, um, I played catch today, uh, so I threw, and then I don't throw – the day after I pitch ever anyways. Uh, and then an off day yesterday. So as far as the throwing things, I haven't like didn't miss a day of throwing uh, played catch today. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, probably no more through the weekend to be, to be honest with you. Um, probably just no more through the weekend, but I will say like today was a good day throwing, doing everything moving wise is, is good and everything's been productive. So, I'm not trying – I mean, I know you guys have been through an injury and you're – call it what it is. Like, you, you try not to, to look ahead too much because it doesn't – it doesn't do yourself any any real benefit to do that. Um, just try to stack the days, right? I'm just trying to stack the good days of being productive and feeling good in a row. And then wherever that shakes out, when it, when it shakes out, it will. Um, so that's – truly what i'm what i'm I, I what i'm doing now is like you know I, i'm looking at it like you know today i did everything normal i played catch uh, i felt good i felt strong and now let's come in tomorrow and see where you feel and, and move from there and then once we get into it and i and i pick it up and i me and the performance team and everyone feels comfortable then we may start seeing where we're at but we're just not there yet we talk all the time about like pressure of a contract does this decision on your hamstring is it different if you're 2017 sunny gray is it different if you're 2021 sunny gray you know you are the anchor of this staff you were top three cy young candidate you were you you're you're there's a lot on your plate here so is there pressure to one take it easy and make sure you have the best 31 starts instead of the best three starts and it pops up again, or is there no pressure and you're just being who you are? That's a good question. Uh, Kratzy. I, um, I look at it as yes. If it was 2017, Sonny may, uh, try and do too much. He may try and not do too much. I, I don't know. I, I, I look at that as, I do look at this as past experiences and as played and understanding that yes, in order for um, me to to personally have success and perform this year, uh, that would and, and the team to to have success. I want to be a part of that. I want to be a big part of it. I want to be on the field as as much as I can. At the same time, it's like I also understand that if whether I pitch the first game of this of the, of the season the third, the fifth, or the seventh, I understand that I can't do it. I can do everything in my power to get myself ready and available, but I can't, I can't go out there and do something that may re-aggravate something or do something that, that puts not only myself, but then the team in jeopardy as well to, to just say, okay, I'm going to do everything I can. And I'm going to throw that first game, whether you're ready for it or not. Um, so I, I look at it, I, I guess the 2024 Sonny would look at it as like, you know, you have been through this, you understand what it takes, you understand the longevity of the season, you understand everything and you understand for, for me personally and for us as a team to get where we want to go, it's not going to me pitching opening day or me pitching game one or game five or game one or game six or game one or game three is not going to be a deciding factor of the longevity and the and the, the the success of the team moving throughout, but me 
me pitching game one and, you know, me saying like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. And pitching game one and not being ready and then missing another and then having to say, oh, you know, restart and do another month or a month and a half. That's not good for anybody. That's not good for, for anybody involved. So I do understand that. But at the same time, I'm still um, I'm still doing everything in my power. And physically, I do feel I feel I feel really good. Um, whether whether it's where I was a couple of days ago, I, I, I do physically feel feel good and capable of of progressing this thing on a on a on a on a faster track and i think everyone in the in the building does as well so uh, but also everyone understands what i just said um that's uh i mean that's the the gives and takes of of a being a high high competitive person a wanting to to be there for your guys and and i 100 percent will be but also like making sure that it's not going to be something that you're going to I always say like to be there for the team and be there for the guys, you have to, you have to be available. And then I think people understand that. I, I don't know. I could talk about that all day, but that's just kind of where I'm at. So before you came on, Kratzy was saying, cause we were talking about, I saw you go out here and Kratzy mm -hmm. said, you know, the real reason is, you know, the first four games are at LA mm -hmm. and you said, and he said that you would rather pitch against the Padres mm -hmm. than against the Dodgers. So can you tell him that? <laughs> Yeah, that's not a, that's look at that's that's messed up. That's not a compliment. There you go. That's a <laughs> that's a that's a slight dig right there. I don't appreciate that one. Um, and you, and you, uh, I'm totally. Kidding, I, I don't appreciate that totally one. Totally no. Uh, <laughs> that that feels like something Kratz would say. I get that. All right. So what you, you signed with the go ahead. So you signed with the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. There was rumors of Cincinnati, some a lot of other teams. Minnesota obviously would have loved to have had you back. Were you close to signing with another team? And also. What was it about St. Louis that drew you here? Because you signed quick this offseason. Mm -hmm. You were one of the first guys, like mm -hmm. Domino's to fall. So what was it about St. Louis? Um, yes, there were other teams. There were probably four or five teams before St. Louis. And we went, we went, we were kind of deeper into talks with a few other teams, to be honest with you. And um, I went to, went to bed, went to bed a couple of nights thinking that, you know, the next day I'm going to sign with, this team and it is what it is. I, I, you can name the teams. You're nah, now. yeah, I don't know. Though. I don't the Reds know. confirmed they were one. We, Nick Crawl, uh, yeah, and the, Reds Reds one. the Reds were, yeah. were definitely one at the end, and, and it ultimately did come down to those two at the end. Um, these the, the Reds and the Cardinals at the end. Um, but I'd went to bed a couple nights before thinking that I was going somewhere else, to be completely honest with you, and um. So then the Cardinals got involved, and as soon as they did, I mean, me and me and Jessica had a conversation, uh, my wife, and we had talked about. I mean, that's a place that it would when we sat down at the beginning of the free agency after the season, and you kind of list all thirty teams. There was definitely a team that was right, right there at the top. And um, but then the free agency is weird. Uh, it, it, it was cool and it was awesome, but it was also very weird because then you go down this rabbit hole of like you can see yourself and your family in this situation and you're like oh, okay and you get deep into that and you're like well and then the cardinals call and you're like ah you know and then you, you got to take a step back and say you know what like where where when this thing started and everything where did i want to where did i want to be and ultimately it did it came down to a i would say it came down to three teams at the end and uh well, who you got to tell us who the third it was one. the diamondbacks the oh reds and the okay cardinals so three, yeah, okay. At three. the end, but before that, that we were, there were a few other teams that that you we were popular. We were because you were good. Well, thank you, compliment. Appreciate <laughs> yes. that. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, this is this is this is ultimately where we wanted to be at the beginning of this thing, and thankfully, it's where we we ended up at the end of it. I love it. Well, Sonny, I'm sure you're glad to be where you are now. Um, appreciate you coming on. I hope the, the fans got what they wanted because yeah. they were highly requested. And, and hopefully, what, we can grab you one more time at some point, yes? I definitely want to have you on more, Sonny. So let's make sure this well, happens. But I also, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, me and Sonny went out. We went to Toronto, and we were going out to a meal. And now, and Sonny's, Sonny was a younger guy. You were getting, you weren't, you weren't reaching free agency. You just got traded to the Yankees. We're in Toronto. CC says, boys, we're going out. You, me, a couple other people, we go out. CC paid for the whole dinner. CC, and this was a really nice restaurant in Toronto. 
And Sonny was sitting next to me. He goes, man, I'm going to tell you, I really don't know CC. He goes, but that is really big league of him to pick up this whole tab. I kind of want to do that when I'm a big leaguer and I get a lot of money. <laughs> so now you got a lot of money. So now it's time to do that. I, I, I remember that night when we went to some – we went to some club and it was like, I, I it was like LeBron and Dr LeBron and Drake were at the tables next to us, and I'm sitting there just like, man, I'm a long way from Oakland right here. Uh, that it was, had it had all the lights, it had all the lights hanging in the club, and there was just bottles everywhere. I did that the right crazy. thing though. CC snuck out the back door and he was like, "Where are you going?" He was like, "But," and I was like, "I'm I'm going with you. You ain't leaving me here by myself. I'm out this mug." Yep. So. We yep. did that, and uh, I was gonna say that you need to tell the fans and everything. I, I, I won't have to hold my my hand up right now. Oh. We can get some better earpieces in this piece. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so next time, maybe we'll be able to get into all this. You know what I'm saying? But, but I, you know, we were, we were talking about that over here. So I told him you can get custom ones. You know, they fit right in there, fit nicely. Yeah, you no, have a future. Just bring job. them on the tablet next time. We'll get you the ta on the tablet yeah. when he's you need when your he's own at AirPods. Bush Stadium. That nope. Bush Stadium Wi-Fi will be good, so we'll line it up. No, you got a deal. No more ear earpiece bullshit, and we'll bring you back. All right. There you go. There you go. Appreciate you. Thank you, Sonny. Good to see you, dude. Yeah. Thank y'all very much. Y'all have a good day. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered.